Hey everybody, uh, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe. Uh, I am Rainforest Ryan. Uh, I have a really cool bug for you today. Uh, we're here in the Yucatan in Mexico and we have a lot of really cool creatures here. I was just walking by my papaya plant here, my little papaya, and I noticed that all the leaves were gone. And then I checked around for it for a little while and I found this. Uh, I'm not familiar with the, exactly what species of caterpillar this is, but I know that it is a uh, I believe they're called hornworms, and they're uh, from the sphinx uh, moth family. And uh, it's either sphinx or hawk moth. I can't remember. I think they're related. But uh, they're really cool looking moths. Um, they look really mean. But this little guy and this little guy took out, I mean, a good, probably one-fourth of my little papaya plant. Uh, I, I'm, I'm probably missing one somewhere, but I only found these two caterpillars and they have done some serious damage to my papaya. How come, how come this one has um, like an eyeball or some eyeballs that look on yeah. top and, and, but the other one doesn't? He's got one coming. He's just, this one's a little bit more developed and this one's oh. a little, he's, this one still thinks that we don't see him. He's acting oh. like a stick, but he might have one. We just got to get him to show it. Uh, it looks like a stripe on there, but when they get aggravated, they're really, they got this cool eyeball up here for predators to, uh, he, I think he's over it now. He's not even, he doesn't even, he's like, oh, you're not going to hurt me. <laughs> they spit you. all of this green juice all over me oh, when, let I, me see. when I caught him oh. from the papaya, thinking that it was going to gross me out and I was going to let him go. But I grabbed him off of this stock and his grip of his feet are so strong. It literally tore this is where this the caterpillar was. It's on my finger. He literally tore uh, off the um, outer layer of this, of me trying to pry him off of there. They're super strong. And how many legs does he have? Are you saying he, he gripped on with his legs? Yeah, with his legs. With these, these legs here and this little grabber receptor. I do <laughs> not know what that's called, but they are so strong. I mean, I could feel them even grabbing me right now. It kind of looks like Snuffleupagus. Yeah, even when you grab him, I mean, they're, I mean, he is strong. You can feel, feel him really, really moving. They're really cool looking. Oh. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take him off I of like my to watch him walk. papaya here, uh, which is hopefully going to give me a, you know, nice, big, sweet, juicy fruit that we like to eat. And I'm going to go put him over there in the, uh, in the neighbor's yard on our wild papaya tree we got growing so that uh, he can go munch over there and that, that, that wild papaya is more for the birds and for the wildlife so he can go eat all those leaves he wants and hopefully leave mine leave mine alone do you know what kind of butterfly he'll be uh, i believe it's a sphinx moth oh a moth or a hawk moth yeah well, they're, what's they, the difference they're between a butterfly and a moth the only the only thing that i i know uh, I, most butterflies are, are dayurnal. They're activated with sunlight a lot of times, um, and the moths come out at night. Oh. They're like a nighttime butterfly. Oh, like Luna Moth. Uh, Luna, is it Luna Moth or Luna Girl? I don't know, but that makes sense to say the moths are at night. They're sort of more like night colors, and they're not so bright like the butterflies, I think. And I notice a lot of times that the that moth caterpillars are like massively big compared to butterfly caterpillars. Like butterfly caterpillars are, some of them get big, but I mean moth caterpillars are just huge. But will this moth uh, will this moth be huge, or do you think they get pretty big? Like so, the body of the moth will probably be um, probably be about the size of this caterpillar. They seem to the the bodies of of moths and butterflies seem to shrink a little bit from the caterpillar's actual size when they lay the cocoon but not by much so the moth will probably be e around this size the body of the moth and then the wings would will come out to here the sphinx moth uh, and the hawk moth don't have as big of a wingspan as regular like butterflies and moths comparison to their bodies they have like these cool jagged like pointy wings uh, and they're they're a brown a brown and white and black and they're really cool looking, uh, really cool looking moth. They look really like, kind of like a fighter jet or something. <laughs> wow. 
Well, thank you, Ryan. Thank you for taking this beautiful little creature and going and putting it somewhere where it can eat and it can live and without destroying your I mean, and our plants. <laughs> and thank you so much for letting me see him. Oh, he's so cute. Oh. All right. Well, thank you and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.